So I have a pretty interesting challenge today. I forgot where this was requested, either my Discord or perhaps on one of my community posts, but basically we're trying to make the best team we can out of a single banner. So obviously a banner comes with one five star and three four stars as their sort of overall set, which is four characters, which is a full team. So we're gonna jump back in time, look at all the banners we've had and see if any of them can make a really good team. We will then take that team and test them in the hardest content Genshin has to offer, which is the Spiral Abyss. We have only done the first chamber so far and it's resetting in like six days, so we gotta kinda <laughs> go do that anyway. Before we get into that though, I wanna quickly thank today's video sponsor, Code Atma. Code Atma is now available worldwide. Developed by Agata, Code Atma is a unique and modern RPG featuring a supernatural fantasy world that rewards creative and intelligent gameplay. You are a seeker in this world, an agent of the Asterisk, a paramilitary organization. You're armed with Atma, powerful mythical beings to defend the world against the great Atma Calamity, where evil and monstrous Atma seek to destroy the world. Each Atma comes with their own unique backstory as well. Some of them dethroned kings or conversely sworn their undying loyalty to them. With hundreds of Atma to choose from, each with their own skill sets, you must choose how to deploy them in teams of five, doing your best to have the Atma complement each other via abilities. Some Atma focuses on healing while others focus on damage dealing or providing defense. They can also get special bonuses if certain conditions are fulfilled that can be provided by other Atma in your team, so the synergy gets quite in depth. I don't have a ton of Atma yet, but I can still pick and choose who I bring for the best chance at winning. They do allow auto battle pretty early on into the game, so you can choose to be more hands off. There are also options for faster gameplay speeds if you want to speed through battles. I've mainly been playing it while waiting for my resin to refresh. If you want to check it out yourself, as always, links will be in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. Since we've had a lot of banners, I'm going to just quickly go through these. This one, um, Child is not my favorite main DPS, so we're uh, skipping on to the next one. My Beto isn't even raised, so these aren't in chronological order for some reason, so sorry for confusion. We got to skip the Eula banner as we don't have Beto or um, Rocker Chick raised. Shinyan, I forgot what she's called. Here we have the Vinti banner. Actually not looking too bad, but Vinti isn't much of a main DPS actually, so... Eh, there would just mainly be supports, but there's Barbara there for our healing. Not horrible, but I'm gonna pass on this one. Here we have the more recent Klee banner. Again, not bad, but my Klee is kind of poorly built still. She's not level 90 yet, so I'm gonna pass here. The Albedo banner is quite literally impossible as I don't have him. He is the one five star I'm missing. The Kazuha banner would actually work quite well if I had my Razor raised, because there's also Rosaria, you know, Razor as my main DPS, could do Super Conduct, Binny for the attack boost. Would be pretty decent, honestly, but um, yeah, my Razor is not raised. This is the one I'm really excited for. This is the Hu Tao banner. Hopefully there are some good supports in here. I forgot by now, obviously. Uh, wait. Oh, we have Sing Cho. We have Sean Ling for the Pyro Res. Uh, Chong Yun, my Chong Yun isn't raised. But honestly, just Sing Cho there alone would do pretty good. I'm going to uh, keep this one in consideration. We still have a few banners to go through, but this might be the one. Well, this is actually the Yoimiya summon video, but we can see Ayaka's banner here as well with Yinfei, Changyu, Ningguang. Um, probably gonna pass on this one. My Yinfei is still not really raised because she's only C1. Changyun isn't raised, so that wouldn't work out too well. My Ayaka is, and she's quite good, but still. So here's Yoimiya's banner, gonna have to pass immediately because of Shinyan and Sayu. She's not really much raised yet either. Diona would be nice for the healing, but then there's like two healers and it's eh. Vinti rerun banner, again, Razor there being the main DPS doesn't work. Here's the original Klee banner, again, my Klee is pretty bad, so. But actually would be not a horrible team, you know, Singcho for some Vaporize, Sucrose, Noel, but yeah. The very recent Raiden Shogun banner with Sara, Sucrose, and Shanling. The thing is, I think I definitely need a healer for Abyss because we still have the corrosion stuff going on and none of these guys are healers. We also have Kaching's dedicated banner with Binny, Ningguang, and Barbara. That could be a decent one as well. My Ningguang isn't really much raised yet, but honestly, just with Kaching and Binny, I might be able to get through Abyss. I'm gonna write down as a contender because honestly, I'm losing hope. Ganyu banner looking pretty good as well. We have Singcho. Why is Singcho here so often? Shanling and Noel are also there pretty, pretty often. Well, I guess this is a pretty old banner before they had more four stars. I'm gonna write this one down too. I just don't know if Noel's healing will be enough, but Xiao banner unfortunately features again Beidou and Shinyan. That doesn't work at all. 
The OG Zhongli banner unfortunately features Razor, so again, and and Shenyan. Kokumi's banner again has Beidou. She might be the next hero I get to, honestly, but uh, currently that doesn't really work. And also, I don't really see a good DPS here, so yeah. The Zhongli rerun banner doesn't look horrible. If I had my Yinfei raised, I would, I, I would definitely consider this. Oh, unfortunately, that was it. That was all the banners. So, our options are Hu Tao, Sing Cho, Chong Yun, and Shan Ling. That doesn't really work because there's no healer, honestly, straight off the bat. Kaching, Benny, Barbara, and Ningguang. I think that might be the winner here. Then we have Ganyu, Shan Ling, Sing Cho, and Noel. I feel like Ganyu really needs Zhang Li to perform well, so I think we're really gonna have to go with pick number two. All right. Thankfully, most of them are built already, so we don't have to do much. In fact, two out of the four are already in my team. I'm uh, sad to see Zhongli go, but we can use him in the other half, I suppose. Ah, uh, my Ningguang's still only 70. Uh, where are you, Barbara? All right, so this will be our team. Eh, it's not, it's not horrible, I suppose. I was just doing a Kaching video, so I'm pretty sure she is perfectly fine right now. So much crit rate. That's better. Ningguang, of course, is missing some stuff. We can see if we could ascend her. Nah, we'd have to go fight the boss a bunch of times. I'm gonna see if we can get through it with level 70, though. She does have Archaic Petra still. We also recently got her to C4 because she was in the shop. Uh, increases nearby characters' elemental resistance by 10%. That might be pretty nice because we don't have, like, an actual shield. Kind of just going with what we have here. Two-piece Archaic, two-piece Gladiator. Uh, see if the attributes are all right. Great, great damage looks fine. Um, you know, you have to keep in mind she's level 70 with 1900 attack. 73 Geo damage bonus. She doesn't look too bad. Being with Skyward and two piece Gladiator, two piece Crimson, whatever. And Noel, she might be kind of messed up. I mean, she has all level 20 artifacts, so maybe she's not messed up. Thrilling Tales will raise that a little bit, I guess. Got no more horns, so 50 will have to do. Uh, she looks actually all right. 31k HP. Obviously, don't care about crit, crit damage, injury charge, blah, blah, blah. Looks fine. All right. I think we're ready to go. All right, well, this is definitely gonna be a challenge, I gotta say, this isn't the team I would typically take. Tin isn't gonna be much of a challenge, so I'm probably gonna edit most of it out. Yeah, I think we'll throw them in first, have to take care of the Violent Lightning, then we need some Cryo for the Wicked Torrents. All right, let's see what you guys can do. I think we're gonna just start with Benny here. Oh uh, yeah, they're all spread out to start. All right, we're just gonna throw his ult down there. Uh, maybe do some Ningguang uh, ults, pass through that, go to Barbara real quick. And then to Kaching. Kaching unfortunately isn't as good without Sara, but should be good enough still. So it took us about a minute and a half to get through the first chamber, which isn't really that promising, but uh, whoops, should have waited till he got his shield. This one also took us about a minute and a half though, so oh no. No one's burst is ready. We gotta do as much damage as we can before they get their shields. No! All right, let's go to Ningguang. Oh, no! Oh god, Barbara and the freezing. Actually, not too bad. We're about 40 seconds in, only have the agent. I wanna focus on getting everyone's burst back now. Ningguang can actually do some pretty solid damage, honestly, for being level 70. Where the hell is this guy? All right, yeah, not too bad, actually. Same story here, pretty much. All right, yeah, pretty smooth so far. I have no idea how we're going to do uh, stage 12, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Abyss Lecter is going into uh, his mode now, so we gotta probably get Benny out and get his burst. Just more or less try and stay with him. We're not making too bad time though. We're only about 45 seconds in now. And uh, 55? Water Lecter has his uh, shield now, so we're gonna go ahead and go into uh, Cryo and just start doing a bunch of stuff here. And yeah, that took a little longer actually, but the water ones just generally do. Electro Mage in first half, so we're probably gonna have our banner team in second half. First half, I think we're just gonna go with the OG, of course, minus Benny, and take Vinti instead, because there are a lot of enemies here. Um, we don't have a healer here. I really don't want to remove anyone here, though. Uh, probably, I guess, just Vinti. It'll be a little slower, but Kokomi might work. Actually, maybe Kokomi instead of Water Dude. That might not be too bad, and then we can still take Vinti. Let's just try it, see how it works. So we're just gonna place her E there, go ahead and get to Zhongli. It lasts a while. So as long as they are all in that sort of uh, radius, see, now they're wet, I can vaporize, all good. 
I unfortunately don't think Kokomi is the best healer, but we're gonna go ahead and do her burst. Try and heal everyone up again. All right, let's go ahead and do her burst again. Uh, oh, that's the last enemy. No. Ah, oh, jeez. They're all like half dead now, and Kokomi doesn't even have her burst. Well, let's try this one. I think we're just going to, uh, I don't know, start with Binny here. Do that. Maybe go to Ningguang. Pass through that. Do her burst. Back to Barb's, and now to Kaching. She will also have the uh, little boost as well. Stay close to have those Barbara ticks. Help get rid of that barrier from the mage. Gotta get rid of this abyss shield. This is going quite a bit slower than I would like. Might be because I'm uh, DPSing with Barbara here, but I'm trying to heal everyone before the next phase. Should be able to get Ningguang up there and then... Yeah, I think we're allowed to have five minutes, right, for Chamber 11? Yeah. Us over here are kind of suffering quite a bit, but... Let's just, again, start with uh, Vinti Q. And then I think I'm gonna go to Kokomi and then back to Vinti to heal in that little ring a bit. It does heal quite a lot, thankfully. And then I guess uh, Hu Tao to do some vaporize. But yeah, this is actually more about the banner team, so... Yeah, that took nearly two minutes, jeez. Glad we're allowed five. This team is pretty good at keeping the team alive, but it's uh, rather slow. I mean, we should be able to do it, but we only have one minute left, which makes me super worried about not only chamber 12, but uh, even the next chamber here. Or floor 12, I guess I meant. Yeah, 40 seconds left. Well, let's give it our best. Oh no, no one even has their like burst ready. What the hell? Thought I'd take care of that. If this takes more than a minute, dude. Oh my God, it's gonna take way more than a minute. And there goes Vinti, although I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, so for our quote unquote good team, it took a minute and a half. So um, this is gonna be really interesting. Ah, uh, dude, it's actually pretty close. What the heck? 12 seconds left. Come on, Kaching. No, don't die. Oh, wow, he did it. What? <laughs> I'm actually really surprised. Uh, let's just leave for now. So, chamber 12. Oh no. Wait, specters? Oh yeah, they did put specters in. Magu Kinky, Mira Maidens, and then the Ruin Guards. Oh god, and this thing! I need my- I need the best team possible for this guy. But I think I need a bow user for the Ruin Guards, and there's no bow user in, uh, in the banner team. We don't necessarily need a healer here. So for floor 12, every chamber has only a three minute time limit. Well, we're already about at the halfway mark and uh, oh, well this is the last enemy. All right, maybe that'll work. Oh God, but there's this thing. All right, uh, the, wi the wind guy is dead. I just r Raiden burst it. Uh, there are four enemies left. Uh, this might actually work. We got pretty lucky with the wind thing. One minute left. Oh, no. Gonna raid and burst him as well. Hopefully it actually hit him. It did. Let's try and get everyone's burst back for the next floor. I think everyone's burst is back. Oh, wait, there's a full health one. Oh, no. No, I d uh, they're immune to Geo. Not only a waste of time, but a waste of an ult as well. Wait. Maybe. Ah. Wait, explode. Jesus Christ, that was way too close. All right, second half. I think this is where we're gonna run into issues. Well, no, third half is definitely where we're gonna run into issues if we don't run into issues here. Oh, Magu Kinky. Wow, that's not fair at all. We're so dead. I'm sorry, Kaching, but I don't think you can deal with him that quickly. If you can survive. <laughs> there goes halftime. Maybe one minute is enough for my other team. I don't know yet. One minute coming up. Oh no. Okay, yeah, about one minute. I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, it missed. Wow, it missed. Raiden's burst missed. And we don't have any pyro for this one over here, so I don't know. Maybe if it didn't miss, that would have worked. Nah, but that's it. Sucks that I have to waste 10 seconds without being able to do any damage here. My Ningguang died that time. Try again. Nah, now we have even less time than we did before. I'm gonna try and take care of the Mirror Maiden first. Uh, already has the shield. Uh, if that would have one-shotted... Oh my god, just a few seconds. 
If I would have had the whole minute from the first run, it would have worked. There goes my Ningguang again. She's too fragile. Ningguang, one-shotted. This wasn't happening before. Why is it the more I try, the worse things get? And now Kaching died. We were making decent... Nah, not really. Nah, uh, 55 seconds here. I'm not sure about that. We're going to give it a try anyway. What the hell? Invisible and frozen? I really hope that other one over there actually died. Come on, E, burst. Where are you? Hit. It did hit. 15 seconds. Go. Go. Zhongli, please don't warp. Oh, we are so screwed for the last chamber though, because we don't have anything. Everyone's burst I had to use because, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so dead. Like this was hard when I had the, the, the teams I actually wanted. Skill and burst cooldown, I don't know if that's really gonna help. Neither will elements of mastery, especially in these teams, but whatever, let's try the middle one. Yeah, we have nothing now. We don't even have a bow character here, so uh, this is gonna be fun. We have to be extremely aggressive and never stop hitting them. Uh, and then even then we'll probably have less than a minute. Oh, something hit them. Interesting, maybe it was Kaching. There is a big plus though, and that is Kaching's AOE. We're actually making some pretty decent time here. Um, we have lost our time advantage. Oh, they, uh, they, they decide to uh, spin in unison. Hey, well, hey, well, we did that in less than 120. I'm so surprised. Huh, this might be possible. This is the one that takes forever though. I think I remember having more than, uh, more than two minutes for this and it was still really tight. There goes most of Raiden's burst while he was up in the air. We just gotta be completely aggressive and never stop attacking here. We just gotta keep going. He should be going into his little mode thing there rather quickly. That was probably it, but I got I got no time to really pay attention to that. I gotta find the one over here. Uh, it's this floating bastard. That's annoying. I don't think I even got Sara's burst this time, but again, no time to even think here. Let's just keep let's just keep it going. He's almost dead. We're gonna save a nice a nice shogun burst. Oh, now go! Come on, kill! One shot. I don't think it critical. That was unfortunate. 24 seconds. Oh my god, no. I know it looks like he has a little bit of HP left, but when he gets back up, I, I, it feels like I stopped doing damage. Yep. Also, when Raiden's burst goes away, I stop dealing damage. No, that first run with my team was way too good. Burst! Oh my god. It's over! <laughs> uh, it wasn't bad at all. I'm surprised we could kill those Ruin Guards in 120. I know I could kill them a little faster with like whoever I wanted to bring, but hey, that was a whole team made out of one banner. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything to continue here. There we go, nine stars, floor 12 and 11 and 10. Obviously not the best team in the world, but they work pretty well. You know, you got, you got your healer in there. You got Ningguang for a little bit of sub deeps and uh, some shields every now and then. You know, if you can get the crystallize working. And uh, Benny for his attack boost. Also some healing in there as well. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you would have a different team, and keep in mind, you would have to go through, you know, all of Abyss with this one team, Corrosion included, you know, leave it down there if you think I should have picked a different one. The Ganyu, Shanling, Singcho, and Noel team may have been slightly better actually, because Noel may have been able to keep the healing up. I'm not gonna go in there and try that out now, because yeah, that, that uh, took up all my nerves <laughs> right now. So this is where I'm gonna wrap up the video. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. I think I said that already. Just, well, I can't speak.